Hello, Sarah from South London Sling Library here. Today I'd like to show you how to use the original 360 Ergo Baby with the infant insert. These are often handed on by friends and family, so you may well have been gifted one of these. Um, so, it's easier to put the two together beforehand. Um, so if you take your Ergo Baby and your infant insert, what you'll find is the tag here and here on either side clip around the straps. So the, the tags at the top clip around the shoulder straps so that the insert is inside the carrier. So that's on both sides. And then the tab here clips around where the shoulder strap meets the body panel. So around there. Like that, on both sides. There's the other one. Okay, right. So what I'm gonna do is hold that carrier upside down so that the outside of the carrier is against my body. The infant insert at this stage is upside down inside, but it's held in, so ignore it. So outside of the carrier against my body, I'm gonna tilt that waistband in towards me. And I'm going to put this roughly around the top of my hips. It will depend on the length of your torso where you put the carrier. Have a, a bit of a play with it and find where you find comfortable. <clears throat> For me, it's kind of the top of my hips, round about my hips. It's got a safety belt there, so I'm gonna take that round behind me as well. And that's gonna clip in here. <clears throat> That's just to stop the Velcro accidentally coming undone. Now, the, the easiest way to do the next bit is to sit down in a chair, um, but I can't then film. So I've got a chair here that I'm just gonna put my leg up on. So, <clears throat> uncurling my infant insert. I'm gonna prep the carrier. I'm gonna use my um, chest clip trick. So I'm gonna do my chest clip up now in front of me where I can see it because I've got tiny little T-Rex arms and I can't do chest clips up behind me. So I do it up in front of me where I can see it. And then I'm gonna lengthen the shoulder straps. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to take my baby. I'm going to lay the baby on the insert so that their bottom is on, this cushion, is, is on, on the cushion and their feet are just either side, like that. That's it, the infant insert goes up my baby's back. I'm then gonna hold my baby and the infant insert and just curl my baby up onto my body, like that. So you can see their bottom is on the little cushion and their feet are just either side, like that. I can then take my chest clip, chuck it over my head, and I can pop my arms in through the straps, just like putting a jumper on. To tighten the carrier, if I just hold this webbing and chase it backwards, I can find that strap where it's hanging down and I'm just gonna pull that down and forwards. Do the same on the other side. Chase the webbing back to find the rest of the strap, pull it down and forwards. Once the baby's secure, I can then let go and I can readjust both sides. <clears throat> there we go, baby's in. So, my tick's safety guidelines. The baby is tightly held against me. If I put my hand on the baby's head and slightly dip forward, I don't feel the body pull away from me at all. If I did, I would need to tighten up a little bit. Um, I'm happy that the baby's supported no further than the nape of their neck, bottom of their ear here, really. That's absolutely fine. Um, their feet are nicely um, loose, so they're not sitting on their feet, they're not putting extra weight on their feet. Their bottom's on that cushion inside there. Um, their uh, face is free of any fabric, the chin is off the chest. I'm perfectly happy with baby being held there. Um, as the baby gets bigger, you can then do away with the duvet part of the insert and just use the cushion, which just boosts the baby up in the carrier a little bit. It gives them the freedom to be able to move their legs because you don't want this carrier to be 
further down their calf. You want it to be just in their knee pits when they sit in it without the cushion. If um, when you put the baby in the carrier without the cushion, the um, carrier comes beyond their knee pits, then they still need the booster cushion. Um, but yeah, the insert does come apart. So once baby gets bigger and you don't need the duvet aspect of it anymore, you can just use the cushion on its own. Take the baby out of the carrier. Because I've got my chest clip nice and low from using my chest clip trick, I can then reach it, which side is it? This side, just like a bra strap, and I can unclip. And then I can just slip my arms out. Get a hand between the baby and the carrier. And then I can just drop the carrier. I hope that helps. Um, if you'd like to borrow one of the original Ergo 360s, they're available at southlondonslings.myturn.com. If you'd like to come to a workshop or a private consultation, either to try some of our carriers or bring one of your own for me to see if I can help you with your carrier, um, that's absolutely fine. You can find details of those sessions at southlondonslings.myturn.com. I hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Bye.